What do you got here? Man, I honestly, I don't know. Look at this. Ugh, you making chili? Oh, God, that's gross. It smells good, though, and like clean. No. Yes, it does. No. <laughs> Man, it looks what gross is it? as shit, though. It's stuff to make your tires slick, I guess. Hmm. I don't know. Interesting. Oh, that's gross, though. All right, what hey, are I'm you doing? Getting this wheel put on. What kind of wheel? Skinny. Okay, let me see. All right, watch, Aiden. I'm going to show you how to do the first one, okay? With this right here. Does that right there. See that? Okay, we're going to do it on the outside, though. So what we're going to do, we're going to do this right here. We're going to catch it on all four, like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, go get me a tire. You said get a wheel. I said get a wheel. You brought me a wheel, now I'm saying get a tire. So what are these for? These are for Aiden Chevelle, and you know, they're they're really, really cheap wheels, but they match his backs. And uh, for now, until the Bogarts get in, you know, we're probably gonna race this thing, you know, and I wanted it to, to match. He still got the stocks on the front, so, you know, these right here will work. Oh yeah. Okay, so look, Aiden, look on here, and there is a rotation. You know, gotta be somewhere. Yep, right here. See this? See where it says rotation? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first one doesn't really matter. You can do the first one any way you want. The second one is the one that matters. But there should be an in and an out. And I doubt, well, there might not be an in and out since there's a rotation. Yeah. Rotation right here. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll slick this deal all up. Aiden, watch. I'm watching. Because you're doing the second one, okay? Ooh, ooh, look at this. I'll give you five bucks to lick that brush. No. <laughs> Make it 20. <laughs> For 20? <laughs> Bet. 20? You gonna do it? Bet. It's just so... Okay. <laughs> hey, watch. Watch, Aiden. Oh, see that? It's, it's like grease lightning soap <laughs> is what it is. Okay. So now, look at how dirty your wheels are. Okay, we're gonna get this over here. Ooh, pretty close already. Ugh, I'm trying not to get so much on here, you know? Plus this stuff is gross. I'm not real sure it's gonna come off. <laughs> it's like flinging a booger off my finger. Okay. Now, look, we're going to get this over here. Watch me, Aiden. Mm -hmm. This comes down. We've used this deal before. Close. What? We've used this deal before. I've used this deal a bunch. Yeah. Have you? And I've watched you do it a bunch. But does that mean that you learned anything? Get that tire on there, big dog. Yeah, right. does that mean that you learned anything? And then you just push it and get it on. Is that it? No. You just, you just do it, huh? Piece of cake, right? Okay. See that? Now I should just be able to spin this. It should go on. Oh, but it didn't. But I'm, I'm not real sure why you're laughing. Because it came off. It did come off. Mullet's looking good, by the way. Thank you. Finally got that deal trimmed up. Uh -huh. Should have let your dad do it. I know, he wouldn't though. He couldn't do this good. It's trying to get up top every time. Why is it doing that? Get get the back side. There you go. Keep the front side up on top. I, I'd like to keep this side up on top. Yeah. That's how I had it. That's how it started. Sometimes it's best not to say things. Shh. Remember what I just said? Remember I said it sometimes it's best not to say things? 
right, right now, whenever you see me start to get frustrated a little bit, those are the times. Okay, go uh, get some paper towels, wipe your wheel off a little bit. Hands are all slick. So today, uh, as you heard, we've got some wheels for Aiden, the front of Aiden's Brazil. And uh, we're uh, mounting and balancing, or well, at least gonna mount them anyways. We're gonna mount them. So, uh, then, uh, then I think it's time for a, a scale on the line and then take it back to the track and- That's it. See what this thing will do, tired of turning it down. Okay. The timing out of it. Oh, we ain't do it, we're done doing that. with a screwdriver. We're on the wrong side of the, the valve stem here. Ugh, I don't want to put this back on here. Go get me a screwdriver. Should have spun it until it was up off of that deal. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And now I don't want to put it back on there. But try this at home, kids. Or, you know, if you got to do it. Yeah. Just gotta do what you gotta do. this part oh so sean doesn't like the not, not the at all knee. not at all there's there's a couple of reasons i don't mount a bunch of tires one i'm not good at it second i can't handle the pop here, here it comes ah i hate it oh our new uh, summer 2020 America shirt that he's sporting right there. Uh, yeah. You can get those online. Uh, we've been gone for a long time. Our store is a little depleted like right now, but you can go to www.themurdernova.com and check those out and get you one on the way. How much PSI? I'm going to put 40 in it. Okay, go get the other one. 
Okay, so this one is the passenger side. Not a bad looking little wheel for the money. It's not, it's not. They're they're pretty cheap, you know, but Okay, get to work. Uh-huh. Let's see it. This is gonna be magical. Okay. So hold it up there. Now hit that middle one. You gotta kinda hold it up a little bit, you know? Hit it, hit that middle one. All the way down and all the way up. There you go. I guess. Well, it looks good. I mean, like it's just staying right there. Yeah. It's staying down right Yeah. Okay. Hang on. Okay, now. Remember I told you that that one's the driver's side? Yeah. Or passenger side? Okay, so look, you got a picture. This being on the passenger side. And look, it rolls this way with the car going this way. So now how's the other one need to go? Okay, you can also look at the tread. You see the tread? Okay, so if this wheel is on the driver's side of the car, what's it need to do? Is that right? So that's passenger side. I'm okay. Like this, on this side. Yeah. That is right, the way that you had it? It doesn't matter what the wheel's on. Oh. Like, no, I mean like the wheel. Oh, well, go what ahead do you mean? Then. I'm just wondering. Yeah. What do you mean? You don't, you don't know? No. Okay. Because this tire can only roll one way. Yes. Okay, that's why they put a rotation on there. Uh -huh. Otherwise, it wouldn't matter. Yeah. Okay, so, only so look, you got to think. This is going to be the driver's side tire. So look, what I do is I picture the car going this way. Yeah. Okay. And then I roll it up like this. And then I think this is the way that it rolls. Yeah. Okay, so how are you going to put it on there? Just like that? Just backwards from everything that I just told you. Do you know why it's backwards? Think about it. Just don't don't turn it around just because I'm telling you it's backwards. Okay, now think, now think. Now this is gonna go up this way. Then uh, it's gonna put the tread like this, which would be pointing the car that way, correct? Okay. Now do you do you under do you get it though? Yes. I don't want you to do it just no, because I'm telling you that. I want you to understand. Yeah, I just didn't know which way the wheel was gonna face upward. Yeah, oh you don't? No. Okay, that is correct. Yes. So now I would lift it up like this, I'd put some of the shit on it. And then slam her home. After you lick that deal for 20 bucks. Come on. No. I'm doing it after. <laughs> what did he say a minute to me a minute ago? Oh, and then you just put it on there. Yeah. <laughs> that what he said? <laughs> yep. Okay. Just slap it on, man. That's what yep. you do. See, I never had anybody to teach me. That's why I'm still not any good at it. <laughs> so. <laughs> good. <laughs> Hey, I mean, you're on your way. That's right. If you would have held your other hand right here to where this side didn't come up, you'd have had it. Okay, now you can't do that now. You've already passed that point. You put this on. Look, 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 watch, watch. You don't necessarily have to twist it. Watch, I can put my hand right here and see how it's going down. Okay, and now put your hand over here and do the same thing. No, you're not doing it right. You're just pushing straight down. Look, you gotta, you gotta get it to go over that lip, like, See that? Oh, I almost had it. I had to ease off a little bit, otherwise it would have went. I'm pushing straight. But but you're no, you're not putting anything behind it. Watch, 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 watch. <laughs> Man, <Okay>? yeah, that's. <laughs> okay, now what? I'm gonna put some stuff on it. Put some slime on it. Not bad. Is that a bunch of 20s for Phantom? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that ought to work. Okay, so now, look, rock this over like this to where you can get that deal in there. Wait, no, 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 it's loose. Push it down. Wait, don't, don't drive it home to the wheel. Oh. Yeah. Keep going, keep going, there you go. Now. Now you lock it. Take your free hand. There you go. Just like that. Now that's locked on there. So then now, this, side. this right here has to be under. And this this side right here is supposed to be over. And now, now take it. Do that right there. And now spin it all the way around. But you got to hold this down. See what I mean? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Yeah, no, you got to push it.
Okay, you go with that. Let me hit the button. See if yeah. it goes. Yeah. Always end up hitting the wrong damn pedal and releasing the wheel. It makes me so <laughs> mad. God, it makes me mad. Yeah, no, I, I'd be mad too. Okay, so we're not going to make this mistake again. So I'm going to spin this. I thought I was going to. There we go. See how it's above that now? Okay, so. Sure. And we did this way faster than your wheel. Yeah, yeah, good job. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Forty PSI. Okay. Well, first off, you got to put this on there. Yep. Okay. Go. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before you do that, uh, think about it. Is, is, are you ready to do that? No, wait. Or is the wheel still being held on from the inside of the wheel by this machine? Okay, whoa, 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 before you just kick that, you gotta get ready. Kick it and then lift it up. Wait, kick it like, yeah. no, don't you lift no, it no. up? Hit it, knock it down. Like this? Yep. There you go, now stand the wheel up. Okay, now don't put your finger in there. Hold mm. it, hold it up here. Man, you know that that hurt. <laughs> it's gonna pop. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here. Yeah. <laughs> you got some stuff to take Yeah, no, I got some stuff. I got it. I had some stuff to do. Oh. He goes, oh. <laughs> there it goes. Piece of cake, right? Did you get that it's stuff gonna, done over there? Is it gonna pop again? Yeah, I'm done over there. It didn't take it. didn't have much to do. Okay, see it? When it gets to 40. Where's it leaking from? Listen, quit, quit. Okay. It's about 32. Go a little bit more. I always go a little bit more because as soon as you let it off, it goes psh. That'll work. How much do you think you lost out of that? I bet it's 39.5. I bet it is too. <laughs> okay, go get the Chevelle. As soon as you fire it up and get it up to the door, I'll open it. Take a scare change. Man, the motor's gotta go. Yeah, man. Yeah, but that converter's gotta go, man. I'm, I'm happy with what Joe did, okay. and he and he, he gave us what we wanted. He gave us what we wanted, but that's too much. dumb and and jack the throttle like that make sure the wheels are straight no they weren't hey hey you straighten them up first and then you show off and jack the throttle not why the wheels are turned that's how stupid shit happens and then, and then you just look dumb you jump a curb or hit a car next to you you know run into the side cool. of the fifty thousand dollar trailer hey, yeah. and then it doesn't matter how cool your car is you're just gonna look dumb <laughs> Okay, get the jack. Get that thing up. Let's look at this bad boy. Good job.
Jackson. Man, it looks pretty good. Yeah. Other than no center cap, it does look pretty good. Uh, uh, ice sitting a little weird. What? Come look at this one over here. Oh yeah, no, it is. It's got to be aligned, Aiden. Yeah, I know. All right. That's part of alignment. All right. Yeah, no, it is. Uh, the camber's horrible on that that side over there. But man, I like it. Yeah, I like it. It. Uh, I feel like we nailed it on the right height. First try. I mean, of course, we still got to put it on the, you know, get it aligned. We'll take it to Mustang Alignment. Those guys will uh, put it on their, their laser alignment rack, you know. I don't do that stuff. So I, I leave s stuff like that to professionals, mm -hmm. you know, and that's what they do. I mean, it's in the title of their shop. That's right. Yeah, Mustang alignment not that they only align mustangs but they are in mustang in and they mustang align oklahoma stuff. and they align things so we will have them align this thing and then we'll bring it back here we'll put it on the scales because man hey i don't do caster i don't do camber mm -hmm. i don't have you know any of the the tools to do all that i mean we could do that stuff on a race car but not on something he's going to be driving around and stuff so we'll leave that part to the pros We'll take this to them. Whenever we get it back from them, we'll throw it on the scales. We'll see what this heavy weight weighs. I mean, I feel like we should do some sort of guesses. I feel like uh, we should let... We should have the subscribers We guess. should have the subscribers guess, and whoever nails it on that deal, you know. I mean, we've got 50,000 subscribers right now, so chances are there's going to be several. Somebody's going to nail it. They're going to get it right on. Somebody So, so we, we might have to pick one or two and maybe, you know. Yeah. Man, maybe, or maybe, maybe give them something. What do you think? You good with that? Yeah. What do you think it's going to weigh? Let, let's hear this from Aiden right off the bat. No. because I don't, 18, Come on, Aiden. 1900. I don't know anything. What do you think? How much does your car weigh? Which one? Oh, or a new one. The new one? Yeah. With me in it. No, it weighs, without in it. Without Just me, how twenty three hundred. Definitely was more than that. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, yeah, you're probably right. Huh. Take a guess. Thirty two hundred. Okay. Thirty two between thirty six. Oh, oh. <laughs> between well, 32 and 36. I didn't know that there was a between this and, and a 400, you know. Yeah, there's right going to be a 400 swing in here. Hey, you're probably going to be pretty close then yeah. if you get the in between this and in yeah. between that. Fine, so 30, I, I'm not even going to say what I think it 30, is just because I don't want to give anybody any anything, but I honestly don't know. Yeah. I, I could probably come up with I, a I've really got, I've got my guess. I could probably come up with a really good guess, and Aiden's probably not in the area that I would guess. Yeah. What was he? But, you know, I, I could be wrong. Uh, we've done absolutely nothing for weight loss on this car. Except for air conditioning. Yeah, we took the air conditioner off of it. The wheels are a little, you know, wheels are a little Are they? Those are, are the, they? Aluminum, it's got aluminum heads on it. Okay. Aluminum radiator. Yeah. That's in the... Uh, I mean, no, I, I, you know, not a whole lot. Full interior, what carpet. Rear end. Huh? What about the rear end? Uh, the rear end? end probably weighs a little bit more than the 10 bolt that we took out yeah. of it. Did we weigh it before we did everything? No. But you can look up what a, a, 72, a 72 Malibu Chevelle weighs, and I'm guessing the curb weight is somewhere around 3,700. That's just what I would guess. I, I don't. I could be wrong. Look it up real quick. Yep. So, so yeah, I like it. So that's what we're going to do. Um, after you watch this video, in the comment section, on yeah. the YouTube put video, up, put, put up what you think, what you think this thing is going to weigh, Curb and then once weight. we mm -hmm. curb weight, that's thirty four hundred. Nah, <laughs> Shh, this bitch is going to be light then. Yeah. So really, I see, see right there, guys. I'm, I'm three hundred pounds off of what I thought the curb weight would be. So once you once you watch this video, tell well, us what you think it's going to weigh. Converter probably weighs more. Yeah, because it's got the top and the yeah, it's got all the it's got the braces and stuff in it. I just looked up my substitution. Okay. So in the comments, tell us what you think it's going to weigh. After we weigh it in the next video, I'll go back through the comments. I'll find who got it right. Shoot, that's a lot of work. Oh, yeah. man, dude. There's so many man, comments. Man, yeah. You should have rethought you, that, dude. But you know me. I ain't got nothing else going on. So, But also, instead of him going back through, you know if you got what the weight is. Yeah. Let him know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I nailed it. I got it. Shoot me. It was me. Something, yeah. You know. Yeah. 
but yeah, so car looks good. I like it. Uh, we'll I like take it. it to Mustang Alignment, get it aligned, then we'll In bring fact, it back we're going to take it to Mustang Alignment probably Monday morning. And then, man, we, we actually start filming this week, guys. So it might be a little bit until we can actually get this deal done. But yeah. we're definitely going to have more videos. But uh, be, but just because filming is coming on, that doesn't mean the content's going to stop. I'm still going to bust my. Ass no no no. We're still out. gonna we're still gonna come uh, out with a couple of videos. Uh, hopefully a couple of videos a week. Uh, and right now we got this. We're working. We got Agent Bell. We're working on. We got to get the man van ready for some. Okay. Stuff coming so up. let let me ask you guys something. If if your daily hasn't been driven long enough for a mud dauber to make a nest on it, is it still a daily? <laughs> that's that's what I need. To is know. this some sort of real? So I, I don't. So we just brought this thing in from outside. We've been on the road for a month and a half, uh, hitting tracks up with OG and stuff. And I get home and I bring this thing in because uh, the next thing we got to do to this, rear. probably in the next day or two, is swap that rear end out. Uh, we broke it the last time. We, we had broke it, it last time we had it out. COVID cash uh, we days. got a new one. Yeah, the COVID cash days. Uh, we got a new one, and man, I, I pulled this in and I saw this and I was damn. So my daily doesn't really get dailyed but in my defense i have been out of town uh look at how dirty the chevelle is look how dirty the man van That's always is been dirty. i mean the donk is the donk saddening. is just uh it's depressing <laughs> looking at it uh i don't have doors on on my uh new part of my shop yet and everything just blows in on it so and obviously the mud daubers come in and, and make themselves at home so this this bitch is filthy we've got to clean it all up this week i mean look at that yeah. brutal so. so once we broke it we called we called quick performance they got the stuff out to us and then boom we were busy and haven't had a chance to fix it so uh most likely the next video you'll see after this one will be us figuring out how to change a rear end in a fort uh posi in a 14 bolt I've never done it. So I've never been in one. I, I'm not going to claim that. I mean, I've set up some 10 bolts. I've set up some 12 bolts. But I'm not going to claim that I set them up the best. <laughs> you know what I mean? We have yeah. quick performance for that. Yep. So, you know, Duffy sets up my 9 inches. You know, so yep. I, I'm not really. We're still uh, like we do everything else pretty oh much. Oh, yeah. No, I, I can do it. I promise you I can do it. Yeah. But there's going to be no calipers involved. No. Uh, no dial indicators. No dial indicators. <laughs> No, uh, no, nothing involved. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen to it. I'm gonna, yep. you know, and I'm gonna Squirrel hopefully, line, I'm yeah. hopefully gonna go back with uh, a lot of the same shims that are already in it. So that's the plan. You know, I mean, you plan. give me something to set up, just bone from scratch that somebody else had already taken apart. Yeah, no, that ain't happening. But this is already idea. together right now. And you know who put it together? GM put it together. So, you know, and a lot of times GM knows best. So, you know, the manufacturer, they spend millions of dollars on R&D, and uh, it's probably set up the way that I should set it up. So I'm going to try to use their shims back, and we're, we're going to go from there. <laughs> so we'll see what happens.